Hey guys, it's me again. I just want to show you a quick video of, of what you should be disconnecting if you are taking the body off your chassis on the Humvee. This thing got wrecked. Uh, it got hit hard on the right side and the frame is bent. As you can see, there's a carnage. See the upper arm is jacked, all bent up. The shock is broken. The lower arm is also messed up. The half shaft is broken also. So it's messed up. So this is what you're gonna do. This is what you do first. You unbolt your six bolts off the body. Two in the front, right there, right there. Let's go look at the other ones. One right there, one right there, and the rear. One there, and one there. You bolt those first. Make sure they're loose, or you can take them off. Since you're already in the back, undo your brake lines. I mean the emergency brake cables. You got one here, one on the other side. They're attached to that. You see a little spring there? You see a little, like a like C thing? That where it goes, you cable grass into this, and it's got, got a paint on it and little bolts. Just took them out and hook them. Okay, once you do that, you can do your harness. On the engine, the only thing you need to unhook, it will be your alternator cables. Okay, they're the long ones that go across your engine like this and they hook up to that, okay? That's the only thing, you leave your harness for the engine, the glow plugs and all that on the engine. You don't need to take that off at all, okay? On the other side, on the left side, you have to undo your, since you already took your hood off, you know you're gonna disconnect this anyway, but the harness that belongs to the, to hook up to your lights in the hood, is part of the harness on the body. So you need to unhook it and just hang it on somewhere. The uh, brakes themselves, you need to disconnect the master, okay? And just hang it on the side like I did. There's the master where you hook it up, you know? And the lines that feed your uh, power steering, you know? That, you need to unhook that before you start lifting your body. Once you do that, you're gonna have this, okay? Also, one more thing, there's three lines that belong to the harness on the body itself that hook up to the transmission. That's one, two, three, don't forget your linkage. And the main part that hooks up all the power from the main um, harness from the engine to the body, you see that? You're gonna see, you see those cables if you open up your your hood on the inside of the engine, I mean the cab, that hooks up to that. That joins both harnesses, the body one and the engine one. You need to unhook that. Undo the lines for the gas tank, drop your gas tank, and you're ready to lift your body. I mean, I'm doing this by myself, so if I can do it, Anybody can. It's doable. It's very, very doable. It's a pain in the ass because there's a lot of sh stuff that you need to disconnect. But if you're gonna have to do a full restoration or, or like I am, I'm replacing the chassis on this thing, you're gonna have to go through this crap. So hopefully I'm done fast with it. So. I'm gonna take my time though, because I don't wanna mess something up. And uh, make sure you mark all your cables. What I did, I the only thing I marked was the hookups for the, uh, where the engine harness and the body harness hook up. But I did, I wrote down some numbers on those plugs. You know, one to one, two to one, two to two, and when I get ready to hook them up, I know where they go. You know, and memorize or take pictures of where your cable goes. I mean, this, you know, and most, I, I would take pictures if you used to forget things. So, oh, also don't forget your 
your steering column. You need to just unhook that before you start lifting the body at all. Otherwise, you're gonna tear that crap up. And I don't, it, it, it won't go up. I forgot to do it and the front end of the body was not going up. And what the heck is going on? What, what else am I forgetting? And that's what it was. It was holding down. Every time I lifted the body, I was lifting the chassis with it. I'm surprised I didn't break the damn thing. So I'm just making this video so you know what to do and you don't tear some shit up, you know? And I didn't do it. I almost did though. <laughs> so oh, I hope you liked this video. And if you are doing something like this, it's, they're, they're awesome vehicles to work on. Yeah, so this is the one I might keep myself. So, so um, I hope you liked the video and any comments are welcome. So that's it guys. I hope you liked the video. Thanks, boss.